That's on a pinfish. That's a nice fish right there, guys. That is a nice fish. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another Cow for a Wild video or fishing the Florida Gulf Coast. You guys I already know it. Now, in today's video, we are going fishing on Bob Sykes Pier here in Pensacola, Florida with microscopic pinfish not literally microscopic but i'm gonna call them micro pinfish i mean some of them are literally that big but uh, that is what we're gonna be doing we're gonna be catching some mul multiple species of a uh, fish we caught some puffer fish and some other species in the video as you guys will see um if you guys are new here and y'all like saltwater fishing on the florida gulf coast make sure to hit that subscribe button hit that bell to get notified whenever i upload and if you do enjoy the video make sure to give it a like it helps the channel grow and um yeah let's go ahead and get into it guys Alright guys, we're trying to catch some bait, and then we're going to go to Bob Sykes, we're trying to catch some species on Bob Sykes, flounder, mangrove, redfish, anything on Spanish mackerel, anything on Bob Sykes, that's what we're going to go for, but uh, let's go ahead and get into it, we're going to try to catch some bait on these little grass flats right here, I see some flashing, but I don't know what they are, I, th I think they're little pinfish, oh yeah, I got them boys, I don't know what they are, but... I got him. Let this guy go? Yeah, let that. Let me see. Yeah. Yo, look at that. Look how small that little pinfish is. We're gonna use these for snapper, all types of stuff. That is gonna be that is gonna be excellent bait. Dang it. We're also gonna try to get some finger mullet for some flounder, but here. Kyla? Over here, Come over here and look. We got micro pen. I mean, that is like as tiny as you can get. That's perfect for mangrove snapper, though. That's what we want. Hopefully, they don't freaking jump out. First fish of the day. Kyla just caught a pen fish. Whoa, nice. We'll take a pen fish. We haven't caught anything all day, so I will take that. All right, we're fixing to use this tiny tiny pinfish you know what that might be what it is oh, oh oh i had him i had him what in the freak is down there that there is a lot of pinfish down there no one wants my bait probably uh-oh oh my gosh you just pushed that set that hook oh no -uh, that's not a pinfish that's a nice fish right there guys that is a nice fish what is that? He ran like crazy. Oh gosh, what do we have? Oh my, a freaking stud mangrove snapper. That is what's down there. I knew it, guys. I knew it. A pinfish, little micro pinfish. Look at that. That's a freaking good one, too. That's, oh, you know what? He's got another line in him. Look at that. Somebody didn't have a good day. Look at that. Somebody. Look at that leader in my hand, guys. Wow, that's what's down there. He was barely hooked. That is a slob mangrove. Matter of fact, we're gonna let this guy go. I'm not keeping fish. I know a lot of you guys out there are gonna be mad at me. <laughs> that right there, that's a quality mangrove snapper for this area. We're gonna, uh, I'm gonna try to get this hook out of his mouth. All right, so I, I couldn't get the hook out. It's literally all the way down. If I got it out, he might die. It's probably better off just to let it rust out. But a uh, beautiful mangrove snapper, definitely a keeper. We're going to let him go, though. Ooh, it's a bit of a drop, but that's really the only way I can release him. Yes, sir. The micro pinfish are working. I knew... I knew that there was friggin' snapper here because I literally was dragging a knocker rig with a finger mullet along those pylons and some of those finger mullet were like, you know, six inches long and they were getting devoured. And even though there's a lot of pinfish, you guys might be able to see them. I knew that those pinfish weren't the ones eating those uh, mangrove snappers. So we're gonna get back down there and uh, try to catch another mangrove, these little ultralight pinfish. Let's go grab my setup. I'm gonna show you guys my rig real quick too. I'm using a tiny, I mean a tiny egg weight with 12 pound test, about a two and a half foot leader. And this is a size, this is a size four J hook. And we're just hooking those pinfish just like that. Let's go catch another snapper. 
there we go now what that weight is doing is it's allowing that bait to slowly sink really 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 slowly and those mangrove snappers will come out of nowhere and just inhale it they love them little pinfish uh, look at that I'm getting a bite right now Oh gosh, oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> holy crap, that was big boy right there, y'all look at that, didn't even feel him bite, literally just was starting to reel up, and my drag started singing to me, oh my god, that is unfortunate, well we're gonna have to put a new hook on after that one, that was big boy, big big boy, wow, cut off this little tag in not too much all right let's get this bad boy on out I don't know what I hooked on last time but it was a it was a monster that actually really didn't feel like a mangrove I felt like a redfish or maybe a jack but we're gonna get back down there and see if we can't get that booger again all right guys we are back I had to go catch some uh some little pinfish again. I had to go catch me some more little dinks with the old cast net. There we go. Look at that little guy. Sorry, bud. You're about to have a bad time at the bottom of the ocean. At the bottom of the bay, I should say. I'm gonna let Kyla give it a whirl. Don't set it right off the back, but if you feel like a good tug, if you feel him like he's on there, then you set the, the set the hook. All right, close your bail, get ready. Let him take it. All right, set it. There you go. There you go. That's what we're after. Look at that. I can't believe it, guys. I give Kyla the pole, and then she catches what I'm trying to catch. That's a beautiful snapper. Here, hold that guy up. Look at the colors on that guy. Holy cow. Oh, he's crapping all over me. Hold on, hold it up. Y'all look at that color on that snapper. Oh gosh, what did she get? Look at that snapper, guys. Hold on, Kyle, I'm gonna go see what she got. Oh, uh, she got a catfish. <laughs> I, I like the mangroves a little more than the catfish. Shoot, yeah. That is a beautiful color snapper. Wow, he is so lit up. Y'all look at that beautiful snap. That's That might be one of the prettiest mangroves I've ever seen. Look at the colors on that guy. All right, go ahead and let him go. He's not even a keeper. The last one I caught was a keeper, but that guy's not a keeper. That's an awesome fish, babe. Heck yeah. All right, let's send another pinfish down. Oh my gosh. That was a good... There you go. There he is. That's a nice fish right there. That's a snapper. That's a... Oh, it's a... Is that a grouper? <laughs> That's a gag grouper. That's a gag grouper, guys. Look at that booger. There's got to be some grouper down there, too. Let's go ahead and get this guy off the hook. Now, these guys have some sharp gill plates. There he is. Nice little grouper. Y'all look at those gills. Right there, that'll get your butt in a heartbeat. Beautiful fish. Absolutely beautiful. We're going to let him go. Thank you guys so much for watching. It means the world to me. And as always, you guys stay safe, keep fishing, see you guys in the next video.